are good, all your ways are sure. I will trust in you alone, higher than my sight, high above my life. I will trust in you alone. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. When you move, I move. I will You serve, I'll serve. If this life I lose, I will follow you. Yeah, I will follow you. Yeah, light into the world, light into my life. I will live for you alone. You're the one I seek, knowing I will find. All I need in you alone. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. When you move, I'll move. I will follow you. Whom you love, I'll love. How you serve, I'll serve. If this life I lose, I will follow you. Yeah. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. My friends, it's wonderful to be with you on this Sunday morning. And we begin, as always, by looking into our hearts and asking God's forgiveness and healing in our lives. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division in our lives. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the throne of grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Together, let us praise the glory of God. Glory, Glory to God, God in the in highest, highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we, adore you, we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins, sins of the world, receive our, our prayer. You are you seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Have, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of God as it is proclaimed to us. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not wrong or oppress any resident alien, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. You shall not abuse any widow or orphan. If you do abuse them, when they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will burn, and I will kill you with a sword. And your wives will become widows, and your children orphans. If you lend money to my people, the poor among you, you shall not deal them with a, as a creditor. You shall not extract interest from them. If you take the neighbor's cloak and pawn, you shall restore it before the dawn goes down, for it may be their only clothing they use as cover. In what else should that person sleep? If that person cries out to me, I will listen, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. to me to 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what kind of persons we prove to be among you for your sake. And for you, and you became imitators for us and of the Lord. For in spite of persecution, you received the word with joy inspired by the Holy Spirit. So that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we have among you, and how you turn to God from idols to serve a living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord, we are listening. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment is the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the, all the law and the prophets. The gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have just listened to one of the most beautiful passages in Scripture. Jesus tells us that all of God's commandments can be reduced to two, and they are all about love. You see, what Jesus called the first and second commandments are not pious suggestions. No, here we face the bottom line of our faith. Follow these two commandments, and Jesus promises that you will live. Make these commandments a part of your daily life, and you will share God's life now and forever. The implication, if you don't, then forget about following me. You really are no disciple of mine. If you really want to love God, then love God's image. Love the people, the men and women, who touch your life each and every day. Love is where someone, anyone, is hurting, lonely, or afraid. Reach out in love and you will live. A recent magazine article asked the question, if you had one day to live with someone who has died, what would you do? Almost everyone they interviewed wanted to tell someone how much they loved them. One young man said he would show his father his family. I hope he'd be proud of me. A woman wrote, if I had one more day with my best friend who died in an automobile accident, I'd like to spend it shopping, having lunch, and getting our hair done. Now, some might say that's a pretty ordinary day, but maybe that's the point. Every day is precious, a gift that we should thank God for. A man who lost his young son began, if I had one more day with him, I'd start it off with a long, long hug, and then we go for a walk. Next month, the church will focus on death 
and we will pray for those who have touched our lives. I have come to believe that life and death in themselves are sacraments, visible signs of God's loving presence, God's grace. The lives and deaths of so many people who have touched my life over the years have, one of, have been one of God's greatest gifts. They have strengthened my faith, made me a better priest. I recall a lady named Daisy in one of my parishes some years ago. She called and asked me to stop by for a coffee. She told me she had just come from the doctor who told her not to count on Christmas. Yes, not to count on Christmas. How would you feel? How would I feel? Would you send Christmas cards, celebrate your life, be able to let go? She spent those few remaining weeks celebrating with friends and in her quiet moments preparing to meet God, receiving the Eucharist with a wonderful smile. And she taught me more about faith than any seminary professor. Reflecting on life and death, the great Jesuit preacher, Father Walter Burkhardt, put it this way. Don't misunderstand me, he wrote. I'm not asking you to be enthusiastic about death. To be honest, I shall never really want to die. Not because my faith is weak, rather because there is so much to life, God's life right here in myself and in you. And so the honest Christian tension is not between life and death, but between life and new life. This morning, I ask you to open your hearts and your minds to this tremendous lover, Jesus. Don't waste another day, another hour, getting to know him as your best friend. If forgiving someone is standing in your way, give them a call or write them a letter. If their marriage isn't a sacrament that makes your life full of love and joy, then for God's sake and your own, Get some help. There's plenty available. If you're a young person and you're not happy, if you're troubled, if you're being bullied, then sit down and talk with your parents, your teacher, with someone you can trust. For these early years should be the best and happiest of your life. And no one, I repeat, no one should take that happiness from you. My friends, in my going on this morning about love, life, and death, I've said very little about hate. That's because the opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is indifference. I don't give a damn. I simply don't care. God loves you too much not to care. God bless you. John with me now as we make our profession of faith. I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty the Creator of heaven, heaven, heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord, who, who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We come together this morning to worship and praise the Father. Let us present our needs and the needs of the world. For the Church, sacrament of God's love, forgiveness and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the Church leaders that they may be filled with the wisdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who search for forgiveness and those who reach out to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the infirm and all those separated from their parish communities who join us today, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And let us take a few minutes and offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Father, with confidence, we make our prayer in faith, believing that you will hear us and help us to serve you in love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Having listened to God's word, let us now celebrate his supper in joy and thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Ever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we care to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Amen. Lord God, we ask you to receive us now and be pleased the sacrifice we offer with humble, contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Forgive me my many, many sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Father. May the Lord accept Lord, the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and the good of his holy, holy church. church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them lift up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so we join with all the angels in their praise as we say, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Amen. The mystery of faith. When we, when we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this, cup, this cup, we proclaim your death, your death, O Lord, Lord until, until, you, come until again. you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy and faithful people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as it, it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this us day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver but us from evil. from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously give peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on, your sin, on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Wherever you may be right now, bow your head for just a moment and think of someone that you may not be at peace with and pray for them. <sighs> Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only, only say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ may die. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May God bless you this week, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended, so go in peace. Thanks Thank be to, to God. God.
my shield, my salvation, my stronghold. Our God, His way is perfect. His promise will always prove true. God is a shield for all. It was a gift, a blessing for me to celebrate with you on this Sunday morning. It gives me an opportunity to thank you again for so many letters of support, for your encouragement, and your financial support that makes the Mass possible. Before we begin Mass, we pray for your intentions because you're our television parish, our community. Next week, I'll be mentioning that we're approaching the end of the year, and we'll begin a new liturgical year with the season of Advent. It's at this time we change all the prayers and the Mass and the readings. And again, this year, uh, Catholic cemeteries will be offering a free copy of the new Missal to you. All you'll have to do next week is write to the address at the end of your screen. Uh, so on the screen at the end of Mass. So again, thank you for everything. And until next week at this time, rest assured of our prayers and please pray for us. God bless. Light into the world, light into my life. I will live for you alone. You're the one I seek, knowing I will find all I need in you alone. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. When you move, I'll move. I will follow you. You serve, I'll serve. If this life I lose, I will follow you.